It's not a job for clean t-shirts. <laughs> I'm Holly, that's Ray, and this is our home, Sabado. Subscribe to Tag Along on the Adventure. It is absolutely gorgeous out here today. We're heading east from the Virgin Islands to St. Martin and going east in the Caribbean usually means battling the trade winds. So we picked a very calm weather window as you can see. It should be a pretty relaxing trip. We can't really sail in this, but we figured it'd be better than beating, you know? Lunch today is the spicy mango and veggie slaw with coconut rice and blackened salmon bites that I made in my air fryer. This has been my favorite combo lately. sure what to film on days like this. Still no wind, but at least we're moving. still really dark. We went faster than we thought we were going to. I'm going to slow things down so we don't get into the anchorage too early. That's better. Good morning, we are hauling out today. Sabado is five years old, so our insurance company wants an in the water and out of the water survey done. And then I think five years is also when they recommend you change out the factory through holes. So we're gonna do a few preventative maintenance tasks while we're on the hard. We stopped at a grocery store yesterday on the French side of the island and picked up a baguette and these two spreads that I saw everyone else grabbing. So. I'm gonna make some breakfast before we get going. Voila, I just added prosciutto, egg, and sprouts. That is where we're headed. The well always looks so narrow when you're pulling up to it.
perfectly lined up. Here we go. Um, the bottom paint looks great. This isn't an ad for Micron 66, but maybe it should be? Sabado's been in the water for two years, and this is what it looks like. They've just finished power washing, and you can see our props definitely need some attention. We're going to change out those zincs, too. The yard is doing the bottom job, and then there's actually a lagoon service provider here who is taking care of the through-hole replacement. So we are actually doing very little ourselves this haul out. These are all of the outer caps that they cut off the through holes and you can see most of them are actually still in pretty good condition. It's amazing how you collect stuff on the boat. Huh? Well, yeah, this is what this is our garage and tools and you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got to be right under the the big window here in the middle, seen from the outside. Yeah, and I think everything should be under this one panel here. Yeah. Ah, there they are. Alright. So, because we're pulling all your true holes out, I will label each true hole and each uh, hose just to make sure we put it back together, right? <laughs> that would be good. Because uh, it's quite easy to mix them up. There's several different same sizes next to each other. Yeah. And that way we can take uh, your old stuff to the shop and swap it out for a nice new true holes. Perfect. Without any confusion, hopefully. <laughs> so. oh, this one is number one. How's it look? Yeah. It really still looks in quite good condition. That's good. Um, so, you weren't about to sink your boat at all. <laughs> The goal is to always address it before yeah. it gets to that point. Yeah, absolutely. It's still got quite some water in there. This is from the AC. Um, but it's very good to do it preventively. And then we got another one. That's number two. Nice. And that's probably um, your um, condensation drain. This is a very tiny hose. I'm not even sure what this one is for. It kind of depends how they, who commissioned the boat and what system they used, because there's a, quite a couple of different systems being used throughout the Lagoon 42s. Oh, that one's not a job for clean t-shirts. Yeah, so um, uh, this is this is the one I found some pink in on it. Also, you can see it up here. More oh yeah, it's pink. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
This yeah, I think this looks like the water maker one. And this is this is the yeah yeah. This, this looks brass this actually. Is, it's definitely brass. Yeah. You can see how it's pink all here. Yep. And uh, yeah, this one is really crappy. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. So it's been a few days and Peter has pulled all 25 through holes on Sabado and taken them back to his workshop to do a little inspection and it's incredible. I'm really glad we're having him do this because he ended up finding a lot of fittings that were brass instead of bronze and even some stainless ones too that were just falling apart. We saw a lot of the threads had turned pink which is an indication of de-zincification which is when the zinc dissolves out of the brass alloy leaving it super brittle and weak so we're going to be replacing all of those with bronze i think the brand we're using is called Grocco. so get your through holes checked folks <laughs> 